Hello, this is an introduction to Scribius 2, platform independent story creation using high level patterns. Event based game engines usually require hand scripting to make things happen. For example, pulling a lever unlocks a door. While programmers can write these scripts, it's hard for game designers who are not programmers. Scriptius 2 is aimed at designers who are non-programmers and anyone who is learning to program. They can be as young as elementary school students. In the Scriptius 2 story model, the story of a game is represented by a directed aesthetic graph of story points. Each story point contains important events in the game. These events are expressed using high-level patterns which can be adapted to specific circumstances. Events provide a simple and effective way to decompose the story into story points. Each event consists of a cause and its associated effects that are based on a library of commonly occurring tropes within games. Scriptis 2 is game engine independent. By using plugin game specific translators, Scripty 2 can generate code for any game engine. The high-level patterns available to Scripty 2 users depend on the power of the targeted game engine. We have created three translators for Scripty 2. The Aurora engine of Neverwinter Nights, the Unity 3D engine, and an engine that reads C++ code for a pinball machine. This is the Aurora engine. The Aurora engine provides a very powerful set of APIs which handles high-level game events, such as when the player uses an object, for example a lever. In Scriptius 2, we can easily drag a when subject is used event or cause from the causes pane and drag in the lever object. Then we can go to the effects pane and drag in the effect that unlocks the door. We can now see in the game that when a player uses a lever, the door is unlocked. This is a Unity 3D engine. Unity does not have a concept for using objects or locking doors. Rather, the engine provides events at a lower level, such as a mouse click. For example, we want Jake to speak when we click on him. In Scriptis 2, what we do is we drag a cause that says when mouse button is clicked on subject. We then drag in Jake to specify the person. We find the effects to play talk animation for Jake and start dialog for Jake. Now in Unity, when you click on Jake, a preset dialog appears. That's right, scripting is that simple, just drag and drop. Scriptis 2 also provides designers with additional resources, such as the additional library that utilizes a third-party A-star pathfinding project. That's all for introduction. You can download Scriptis 2 for free at cs.uabrta.ca slash tilde script. Give it a try.